Hello, I'm Timothy Wilcox. I'm the curator of the exhibition Cotman in Normandy. It's 30 years since the last Cotman exhibition in London, and it's a great thrill to gather together all these drawings, watercolours and prints by Cotman for this show. I've decided to concentrate on just one phase of Cotman's career, the central chapter in a way, when he concentrated for five years on drawings and watercolours of Normandy. Cotman went three times to Normandy, first of all in 1817, then again in 1818, and the final trip was in 1820. This watercolour here is a view of Donfran, a very small town in the southwest of the province, but one which had great connections with the English. And after the Napoleonic Wars, Cotman was keen to explore what England and France had got in common after they'd been divided by war for 20 years. And the castle at Donfran had been built by Henry I of England and was used as a stopping off point going between England and the English territories in southwest France. But when Cotman got to this place, he found this spectacular location with the castle sitting up above these extraordinary craggy cliffs. And in a way, that's what became the subject of this watercolour with the castle looming as a shadowy silhouette overhead. The exhibition will have lots of drawings of architecture in France. This was something that Cotman himself was interested in and he knew that many of his English friends and potential patrons were students of architecture. They were antiquarians who were investigating the links between the Norman architecture in England and architecture in France.